Good evening. Uh, what do you mean when you say an uh, transaction is incorrect? Mm. So what's the difference between correct and incorrect? That's a great question. So there are a set of rules within the system. Um, probably about maybe about 30 or 40 rules altogether that the software analyzes. So for example, um, if a transaction says my address is paying your address some amount, right? Well, a correct transaction is one where my address is correctly formatted and is a valid address. Your address is correctly formatted and is a valid address. The amount described is within zero to 21 million Bitcoin, which is the maximum amount you can have. Um, I actually have that amount to pay you, and I'm, if I don't have it, I can't pay it. Um, that amount hasn't been spent before from my account, so it's not being double spent. Right? The transaction has the sufficient fee to pay the network. There's all of these little rules, not just for transactions, but also for the blocks that contain them, and they're cumulative. My signature has to be correctly formatted. Now, th those are kind of the logical human level rules. There is thirty or so rules that are very at the programming level. You know, the first three bits of the version number of the transaction have to be X and less. The time lock on the transaction is set, in which case these version bits, you know, it's all of these arcane rules, which have to do with analyzing the format of the transaction. But your software does that. So you don't need to worry about it. You just say, I have money, I give you money, click, click, boom, done. Your software will produce a valid transaction. The important thing to check is the software is not going, are you a good person? Are you a bad person? Are you on a list of good people or bad people? Are you allowed? When were you born? What's your gender? What's your religion? None of those are in the rules. <laughs> and that's the important distinction. Thank you.